up guys, welcome to another video. Today I am so thankful I have this new G7X. I'm in a hurry, I gotta get my seat belts out. You guys know from the title what we're doing, but I wanna show you what exactly you gotta do to get these seat belts out in this car. Let me grab my little handy dandy light. This thing is so awesome, I use it all the time. Link below to Amazon, this flashlight is clutch. Look, I'm just gonna stick it in here. Okay, here's the deal. So, the seat belt goes in right here. And there's this plastic cover like this right here. You're probably gonna bust some clips in the process, but all you gotta do is pull this off, and there's two more you just bust out right here and pull this out. And then also this weather stripping right here, you just kinda just pull it off and get it out of the way first. Um, other than that, like see there's a little clip here, I'm gonna have to get that out. It's gonna suck, but we'll be we'll be good, don't worry. Um, but the hard part, so I'm actually gonna grab this tool first right here, little pick. I'm gonna get this guy underneath right here. I want you guys to see it. I'm gonna pry it out and then just pull on this plug. This is your electrical for your seatbelt. Now, what's next? This is the worst part. So, 14 millimeter take that one out and then this guy down here is a 14 millimeter also we got to get this one out but what you should do is grab a 14 millimeter open end right here put it on this guy and we're gonna hit it with a hammer I'm gonna try and film this for you guys there we go Not the most pleasant thing at all, but I got it loose. So even though you have the top half off and you have the main mechanism right here that's apart, the biggest problem is this guy right here, the bottom of the seatbelt. That is actually another open end 14 bolt you need to do. But the one on the passenger side is mounted to a piston, so you gotta take this whole thing out and it's kind of a pain, but we gotta undo that bolt right there. Here's another view of the mechanism. That is the piston right there on the passenger side, and this is the driver's side. I'm crunched on time. I'm leaving town again soon, and I don't really want to mess with the back right now. It's going to take more time. I need to get some sleep, so I'm just going to send the front two off to safety restore tomorrow. Hopefully get them back soon, and then put them in when they're yellow. I'm really excited to see them, so I will catch you guys when we get them back. It's been a couple days now. I got the seat belts back. I'm just gonna open them up and see what this yellow really looks like. I'm really excited. These are just the front two. I still gotta take the back out and send them to them. Usually you send them all the seat belts at once, but I'm so busy I wasn't expecting to do this. So I'm giving them half and then half later because of time reasons. But let's open them. Ooh, bright yellow. Wow. It's like a fluorescent. It's like something you see in a Lambo. Uh huh. Ooh. It's in a Subaru. Look at that. You good, Tanner? I think so. Are you? You're, you don't look very excited. No, I'm excited. I just, I'm anxious to put them in now. I'm tired of my thing beeping at me. Not look excited. What? Nothing. How's, how's my mustache? I want to be real excited when I see them in. Yes. They sent me the old black ones back. How nice of them. Old black ones. Little flyer they left. They talk about 100% OEM parts, 24 hour turnaround, and lifetime warranty in all of these. So if you need any replacement parts, if you get in an accident and things like that, and you need to replace airbags, certain parts, not airbags, but the electronics that go into it that are connected to your seatbelts, contact them, send them stuff that's broken, and they can fix it all for your safety stuff in your car. Safety Restore, thanks for sending these out. I'm excited to see them in the car. Install in progress got some light on the subject. I'll touch on that later, but uh, It's looking good um, at This side on the driver's side is real simple one thing that you do need to know that freaked me out Is that the seatbelt mechanism has to be completely upright? Just like it sits in the car like this for the seatbelt to be able to retract down and then come up because I was having the problem I couldn't pull it up far enough to hook this back here, it was like it would get stuck. So once this is sitting upright like this, it'll like snap for a second and then it'll loosen and then you can drag it up and then pop, pop it in. And it's basically 
um, a bolt down right here and this bolt right here. I'm gonna tighten them up. I hook the electronics back up right here. And for the driver's side, that's it. I'm gonna put all the plastic back, which sucks, but it's the same way you took it off, put it back on, and then I'll go do the passenger side. Passenger side is laced up, looking so fly. I'm really hyped. Um, when you put this back in, make sure you pull this rubber piece off. It's gonna come off the whole door trim, and then you can pop this back in and then put this seal back. Driver's side is done and laced up. Everything's good to go. Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you next video. Later!